Want to know what Europe does for you? Welcome to European Parliamentary Research Service podcast on the EU's industrial policy. Industry is the engine of innovation, growth and exports, and it offers quality jobs to Europeans. But Europe's industrial structure is undergoing deep transformation, driven by new technologies and business models. The EU is supporting this modernization effort to ensure that our industry stays competitive in global markets. Want to know more? Stay with us. Did you know that Belgium, this small country in the heart of Europe, was once one of the largest iron producers in the world? Or that in the 19th century, Britain produced about 90% of the world output of coal? Yes, Europe was once an industrial giant, but since the mid-1900s, machines began to replace workers in factories and jobs started shifting from the manufacturing to the services sector in most countries, and the trend has continued into the new century. The contribution of manufacturing to European GDP diminished from just over 18% in 2000 to 15% in 2012. And the recent economic and financial crisis has been a heavy blow for European industry, with 3.8 million jobs lost in the space of four years. However, since 2012, things have been improving, even if we're not yet at pre-crisis levels. But today, industry remains a cornerstone of the economy, providing one job in five and more than 80% of EU exports and attracting the biggest share of private investment in research and innovation. Europe is a global leader in many industrial sectors and technologies, particularly those with high value added, greener production and a low ecological footprint. But while European industry strives to be at the forefront of new technologies, it also needs to respond to challenges such as greater resource efficiency to promote a more sustainable, low carbon economy. The increasing role of new technologies such as robotics, the Internet of Things and artificial intelligence is also transforming European industry, shifting from traditional manufacturing towards smart factories where humans and machines work together to produce more customised, higher quality products. If well managed, this industrial transformation can improve Europe's productivity, competitiveness and growth and create well-paid jobs. But to get there, Europe's industries, big and small, need to first embrace digitalization, invest in innovation and ensure that workers have the right skills to succeed in this new industrial environment. And this will take time. All this admits growing global competition, not only from traditional competitors such as the United States, but also from players such as China, India and other Asian manufacturers, which are claiming an increasing global market share. So what is the EU doing to support Europe's industry? Stay with us. Through its industrial policy, the EU has been promoting industrial growth and competitiveness since the early 1990s. It has mainly focused on supporting modernization, ensuring fair competition, increasing resource efficiency, enhancing standardization and strengthening the single market, implementing regional development instruments that support innovation and entrepreneurship, and enhancing access to raw materials, skilled labour and finance. Today, the aim of EU policy is to support European industry's transformation towards a digital, knowledge-based, decarbonised and more circular industry. To achieve this, it supports and coordinates member states' policies and actions, mainly in the areas of research and innovation, SMEs and digital technologies. In a recent Eurobarometer poll conducted for the European Parliament, more than half of EU citizens expressed support for increased EU action in this field, although it is still the least understood policy area of all covered. So how does the EU finance support for European industry? Well, industrial policy is supported through various programmes, such as Horizon 2020, which supports research and innovation, and COSME, which facilitates SME's access to finance and new markets. And that's not all. There's also the Connecting Europe facility, which supports industry by developing better transport networks, further integrating European energy markets and investing in telecommunications and digital connectivity infrastructure, and the European Fund for Strategic Investments, which supports industrial modernisation. Major support for industry also comes from the European Structural and Investment Funds, which focus on key areas for industry such as research and innovation, digital technologies, a low-carbon economy, supporting SMEs and education and training. So what have these funds been used for in the past five years? Let's have a look at what has been done concretely since 2014. Well, efforts have been made in a number of areas, including investment in projects contributing to industrial modernization and digitalization, for example, setting up public-private research partnerships to build and integrate key digital technologies into industrial platforms, and creating a network of digital innovation hubs. The EU has also been working to make it easier for industry and SMEs to access public markets and attract venture funds to boost the single market for goods and to promote a greener industry, for example, through the revised 2030 
emission targets. The EU is also discussing new common rules for the internal electricity market, which could reduce energy bills for factories. The EU is also bringing together stakeholders to collectively develop and update European standards by the end of 2019. In 2016, the Commission proposed a new skills agenda to close the skills gap and provide an adequate workforce for modern industry. To accelerate the transition to a circular economy, the EU has also passed new rules on how to manage industrial waste and tighten CO2 emission standards for cars and vans. Now, what more can the EU do in the future? Well, since discussions on the next EU budget began, the European Parliament has been calling to increase financial support for the digitalisation of European industry and the promotion of digital skills and entrepreneurship. The European Commission wants to boost the share of EU spending on research, SMEs and key infrastructure, although not by as much as Parliament has requested. So in the coming years, we could see new laws passed to ensure fairer global competition, develop robotics and artificial intelligence, and promote low-carbon technologies to increase the sustainability of European industry. All three important points for the European Parliament. The European Parliament has also asked the Commission to better support SMEs in the transition to a digital industry, increase consistency between trade policy and industrial policy to avoid relocations, and to better ensure that European industry contributes to the goal of a low-carbon economy. Because the world is changing, and the only way for European industry to remain competitive is to stay ahead of the game. You're listening to European Parliamentary Research Service Podcasts.